Today, we're looking at how to customize import actions in Simplify 3D. Import actions are rules that you set that then apply to every model you import. You might use import actions when you consistently find yourself making the same changes to models every time you import. For example, in some CAD packages, the z-axis might be the vertical upright axis, like it is in Simplify 3D. However, some CAD packages have the y-axis as the vertical axis. So when you import a model into Simplify 3D, it may be rotated due to these discrepancies in the coordinate axes. So let's say that I have these models that are facing the wrong direction because my CAD software defines the vertical axis differently than Simplify 3D does. I could just double click on this part to open the model settings panel, then shift to select both models and rotate them by minus 90 degrees around the X axis. Then I need to click center and arrange to pop them back up above the build plate. But I don't want to have to do this every time I import a model. Luckily, Simplify 3D has a way to automate this task. Just go to Tools, Options, and then the Models tab. For Mac users, click on the name Simplify 3D in the menu bar, then select Preferences. Here is where we'll create a new import action. So from the dropdown, we'll choose Rotate X, and then enter minus 90 degrees, and click Add. Now, every model we import will be rotated around the x-axis by 90 degrees. So let me remove these models and re-import them so you can see how this works. Now when I import these models, they import in the correct orientation, making my life much easier. Here's another example of when you might use import actions. If, for some reason, your parts are always modeled and exported in the wrong unit system, you would have to scale your part every time you import. Now I'm going to show you a part that was modeled in inches that I'll need to scale to millimeters. When I try and import this part, you see that I get this prompt from the software asking me whether I want to scale it. If I were to click yes, the part would scale correctly. But I'm going to click no, just so you can see what it looks like. Now while we could scale up our itty bitty spaceship manually, or we could have chosen yes when prompted by the software, we can also set an import action to perform the scaling automatically. So let's go back to our options and get ready to set up our import action. Now to set this up, there's one piece of information we're going to need, and it's the knowledge that one inch equals 25.4 millimeters. Since our scale is a percentage, this means to scale apart from inches to millimeters, I'll have to scale it by 2,540%. Now, each time I import this part, it will be automatically converted from inches to millimeters. If you ever want to delete an import action, just go back to Options and to the Models tab, click on the import action you want to remove, and click Remove. While there are many other examples of when import actions come in handy, these are some of the most common. So, if you find yourself making the same adjustments to your 3D models every time you import, this is the feature to use.